today uh, we are celebrating this uh, feast of St. Lawrence. Uh, in the Roman canon, first uh, Eucharistic prayer, this uh, St. Lawrence is mentioned. So he is very famous. And uh, today, uh, for me also, it is special. Um, 10th August is my uh, grandmother, paternal grandmother, my father's mother's death anniversary. So, 22 years back, God called her, and uh, it is also for us a time to remember and thank God for calling uh, her to heaven. So I am grateful uh, to God for giving me this opportunity. Though for you it's just one regular mass, but for me this is a special mass. So I am able to celebrate and share something. And actually her name I carry. My name is Vignan Das. It is a combination of two names. Das is my grandfather's name, Swami Das. And Vignan comes from Nanamma. So my grandmother's name is Gnanamma. So my name is Vignan. So it comes, it's a derived of Gnanamma and Swami Das. Put in V. That's why like sometimes in my Facebook, G V Das. V, V, V. V is Vignan. Like uh, only that name. So my half of my name comes from my grandmother, Gnanamma, Vignan. And uh, Jesus is telling in this gospel, we should die and we should give. Two things are there here. So, my grandmother uh, used to ask uh, money from me. Well, by the end of the month, she asked, like, do you have any money, pocket money? Well, my grandmother died when I am 18 years, less than 18 years. So, but what I am saying is like when I am in the school, right? My grandmother asked, okay, do you have any savings? You give that money. So at the end of the month, whatever I have, maybe 100 rupees or 200 rupees or even less. She says like if you give, I will give you double. Like if you give 100, I will give you 200 in the first week. She, she gets the pension and she used to give. So I used to save the money and whatever she gives, I, I, I will not spend, I will give to her back. Then again, she will give me back money. Then uh, it, it, it continued, many, many, many years it went on. So whatever, and she knows that I will not spend money. So she gives money and uh, other, maybe my <laughs> brother, I don't know, sister, my brother surely used to finish whatever money she gives. So I used to keep that money and finally yeah. back. I think the God is telling the same thing in this gospel. He is saying like, uh, if you love, you will give it back. So whatever we have in our lives, it is the gift of God and we should give back to God and we should give it happily because it is not God is just like a stealing from us. He will give us back in return. God, main thing is like that attachment. God doesn't want to have that attachment. That is the main thing in this gospel. And it is not dying. It's like that attitude. Even I am ready to die. That is what Jesus is like a cross. You have to follow him by carrying the cross every day. Problems, suffering. So, okay Lord, when we accept, God will give us a joy, super joy. And that is what St. Lawrence also is showing through his life. So, he is famous that he has given the treasures. He is interested with money. He is interested with money of the church, an emperor want to steal, but he goes and gives to all the poor and he was ready to die and he died and that is what the feast we are celebrating, St. Lawrence's feast. So let us ask God to have that courage, to have that courage to uh, give it back, whatever comes, as Mother Teresa says, like uh, give until it hurts love until it hurts. So, we have called to do the same, like Lord. We should have that attitude to give whatever gifts we receive because we don't have anything. 
everything, our position, our talents, everything is a gift of God. So we should be ready to give to God. And let us ask the intercession of this great saint Lawrence that even in the suffering that we and in the problems, confusions, questions which we don't have answers, even during that time to have that strong faith to follow God.